Hello then ladies and gents and welcome to Armchair Arsenal TV and here it is, it's the big one, it's time to get excited, it's time for the champion. What? Not the Champions League, what's a Carabao? It's time for the Carabao Cup ladies and gents, I know, who could have thought it, eh? The competition that keeps on giving and this round is giving us Doncaster at home. Cheers. My starting 11 for this game. It's time to ring the changes, and by the look at our squad, we've actually got a decent sized squad. We've actually got depth this season, which is for the first time in a long time. So my 1-11, to in goal, the man who can't kick a ball more than about 30 yards, is David Espina. He needs a game, he needs to get his confidence back after that uh, less than stellar showing against Cologne, so he's in net. I'm going to go with the three at the back, not necessarily what I would play, but... I know Wenger's going to go with that, so I might as well pick in that style of formation to get somewhere close. In the centre at the back, the big man, the BFG, it's Per Mertesacker. Stick him in the middle there. He hasn't got any pace. He doesn't need any pace. At the right of the back three, I'm going to go for the forgotten man, Callum Chambers. Um, he hasn't played all season. I don't even know if he's still at the club, but get him in there at the right side of the three and let's see what he can do. Just to the left of Per, we're going to go with Holding. Man, this guy needs a performance. Actually, he doesn't need a performance, he just needs some confidence. Just not getting run ragged for a half will be, that'll be fine. Just let's just go with that. Fullbacks. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, one area that Arsene Wenger has royally fucked up on is if he's gonna play this, these wing, this wing back system, we have got next to no cover at left fullback or right fullback. So okay, you could say, so if, if, if everyone's fit, you've got Kolasinac, that's the uh, correct pronunciation by the way, Kolasinac, and Bellerin on the right. That's brilliant, until someone gets injured. So let's say Kolasinac gets injured. Well, yeah, we could put Monreal there at left wing back, but hold on, he's one of our starting central defenders now, so we're going to automatically weaken another area. And don't get me started on Bellerin's replacement or Bellerin's backup. Um, Got any wing backs? Callum Chambers has got little to no pace and he's better in the centre. So I'm going to go for, in this cup game, I mean, if Chambers is the forgotten man, then Debushi is the forgotten man that the forgotten man forgot. I don't know where he's been for the last year, but I looked on the old the Arsenal.com and he's still in the squad. Get him in there at right wing back. Let's see what he can do. See if he can recreate the, uh, the good old Newcastle days for us. At left wing back in this team, I'm going with Monreal. For no other reason than Kolasinac, just give him a break, just give him a rest. Monreal's played a lot of games, but he hasn't played a lot of left wing back, so let's see if he can still do it. Is he a viable alternative there if Kolasinac does get injured? Centre midfield, Jack Wilshere, Mohamed Elneny. Now these two should complement each other quite well. Elneny in more of a holding or a sitting role, although hopefully against Doncaster he can also get forward as well. But Jack Wilshere, let's get him bombing forward, let's get him creating, let's get him receiving that ball on the half term. Just get him the ball and let him work his magic. Every Arsenal fan's biased towards Jack Wilshere. We all want him to do well. And the more minutes he plays, the better he gets, the better his touch gets. And then it won't be long before he's knocking on the door of a first team start. In the two attacking midfielder positions, on the right hand side, Theo, terrible last game, Walcott. But again, hopefully he can get some confidence against Doncaster. Stick him on the right hand side, get him using his pace, feed him in. Like coming in from that right hand side and, and playing in between their left back and their uh, left sided centre back, that's where he creates havoc, that's where he can do his damage. So, Theo, come on, boy, step up tonight. The other side, attacking midfielder, I want to see Reese Nelson playing. Uh, again, it's, it's hard to say how good this kid's going to be, but you watch kind of the, you watch the YouTube clips, and okay, admittedly, everyone can look good in a clip montage. But let's give this kid a chance. He's won like the, the player a month for the, like, the Premier League B teams. Um, and there's real excitement about what he can do. So let's get him in there. And yeah, let's see him tear up Doncaster with a bit of luck. Man up top, big Olivier. An absolute no-brainer. Lacazette's going to be rested for this. So let's get Giroud up top. We should have plenty of the ball. We should be swinging crosses in. He should be gobbling those up. And I wouldn't be surprised if he scores one or two tonight. Score prediction. I am going to go with a nice, solid 4-0. Now, knowing Arsenal, 
we tend to make things that seem easy, we tend to struggle, but I think with that strength of team, they've got experience, they've definitely got the talent. I can see Giroud banging a couple, hopefully Nelson, maybe Walcott gets on the score sheet. 4-0, stick your house on it. Don't stick your house on it. 4-0 Arsenal. Come on, boys!